Now let's talk about how you can actually set these variables in Postman. In the URL bar, I can see the endpoints for this API request. The base URL is the same for this request and all other requests I have in this collection. So I want to set that as a variable so I could reuse that variable in multiple requests. To do that, I can highlight the base URL, right click and select set as variable, and I see different options. If the name of that variable already exists and I select one of the existing name, it will replace it with the highlighted value. If it doesn't exist and I select set as new variable, I can give it a name and select a scope where I want this variable to be stored. It can either be stored in the environment, collection, global, or even in Postman Vault. Now keep notes that wherever the scope is stored will determine what can access it in this workspace. Again, within the collection scopes, only requests in that collection can access that variable. Within the global scope, every collection in this workspace can access it. If it's an environment, I would need to set that environment as active to be able to use it in any of the collections in this workspace. I'll set this as a collection variable and click on set variable. Now you see that it automatically replaces it with the two colored braces. If I over on the variable name, I would see the scope where the variable is stored and I could see that the variables in request button here. When I click this, I can see all the variables that are available to this request and I could expand this all variables button to view all other variables that are available across different scopes in this workspace. Similarly, I could do the same across different places within my workbench. For example, if I navigate to the Edders tab, I can highlight the token here in my bearer token, right click, click on set as variable, set a new variable and give this a name. Similarly, I could store this in the collection scope or since this is a token, I'll store it in vault. Setting as a variable, you'd see that storing a variable as vault has a different name identifier. There's this vault keyword attached to it, and this is just to differentiate visibly that it's a sensitive variable.